Hey guys, Antonalog here, and it's no doubt that the Moto Z and Z Force are definitely one of the coolest phones of 2016 with the Moto Mods and all, so here are 5 things you should know about the Moto Z before buying it. Alright, so the first thing you should know is that there's no headphone jack. That's right, they pulled an Apple before Apple pulled an Apple. I think the reason they did this was to make the phone a lot skinnier, and as you can see, it's really really thin, so I'm willing to take the trade off. But if you're someone that listens to wired audio a lot, then you might have a little bit of a dilemma. So, Alright, so the next thing you should know is that the screen is great, but the glass is not. The glass scratches easily and I already have a ton of scratches, even just after putting it in my jean pockets. I always treat my phone well, and I treat it like any other phone, but none of my other phones have had this, just the Moto Z and the Z Force. And I also know that I'm not the only one that has this problem with the Z and Z Force, so definitely be aware of that. But underneath that glass, the display is really nice. It's bright, saturated, colors are accurate, but it is a little bit hard to see in the sun. That's the only problem. Alright, so moving on, the cameras are really not impressive. It's a 21 megapixel camera on the Z Force and a 16 megapixel camera on the regular Z. And as you can see from sample photos, they're really over sharpened, there's not a lot of saturation, and I'd definitely like to see a higher quality camera from the Moto Z. Some photos turn out really nice, but more often than not, it's really underwhelming for a 2016 flagship. So let's talk about the software on the Moto Z. It's great, it's pretty much stock Android, and it has super useful features. For example, ambient display is super useful. And the thing I like about it is that you can just wave your hand over the two proximity sensors at the bottom of the screen to turn on the ambient display. It's so much better than having to lift up the phone or fondle with it, I just like it a lot better. Also, you can double twist to open the camera and chop to open the flashlight, typical Motorola stuff, and they do Android the best. I honestly think it's better than stock Android because of the tiny improvements, like I use the chopping flashlight a ton. So props to Motorola for creating, at least in my opinion, the best Android software. Alright, so let's talk about the battery life. On the Moto Z Force, it's pretty average, around 4 hours of screen on time, but I should be getting more for the extra thickness of the Force. However, for the Moto Z that's really thin, I only get about a half day of battery life. It's really bad. Alright guys, so those are 5 things you need to know before buying the Moto Z or Z Force. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.